All right, these are my tracks that I just made from the merry-go-round. My first 10 minutes is up. Wow, this is going fast. But merry-go-rounds are one of my favorite places in the world. And I spend a lot of time upon them. Looking up at the sky. The sky is kind of gray and dismal today. But uh, on a summer day, when there's clouds in the sky, if you get on a merry-go-round and look straight up, sometimes you're in for quite a show. And at nighttime, when uh, the sky is full of stars, with a little shove, you can turn the whole sky up above into a kaleidoscope. Not a very colorful one, but a pretty beautiful one, none the same. All right, moving on. We're gonna get close to my aunt's house pretty soon. My aunt uh, has lived in Nina for quite some time, quite some time. Beloved lady, recently found out she has lymphoma. I mean, any word that involves cancer is a never good word, but uh, I have a very positive approach to it. Uh, she uh, takes good care of herself and uh, has a lot of good people. And I like to think that I'm included in that, that I'd like to take care of her. We got Grandma Alice back at home who I gave a kiss before I left and, and my mom. I have a lot of roommates in my house and Nina. And we make sure to keep a good, good, take good care of each other as uh, what a family should do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop over, say hi. I probably won't videotape me shoveling. I mean, cause that's just gonna be downright boring. But she lives on Van Street and there are no coincidences. There are only miracles. My van is at Van Street. I mean, that might seem just like a play on words. And maybe as a librarian, you do appreciate plays on words, but my van is at Van Street. Oh my gosh. I just realized I, I, I lost my uh, cigarette pack back in the snow. So on my way home, I'll have to look for it. That's very unfortunate. When I was gallivanting through the 16 inch deep snow, I think I lost uh, the cigarette pack. But luckily for me, I got a, a sled dog here with a good nose and I'm sure together we'll be able to find it. So my van is on Van Street. And there is Van Street. Now if you get a smile or a chuckle from these videos, I would be more than happy to walk myself uh, through the cold, through the wind, through the rain, and take a picture of Congress Street. And maybe that would make you smile. So that's the whole point is, you gotta admit, if you saw a guy looking like I am right now coming towards you, you would run the other way. You would say, you know what? I want nothing to do with this gentleman wearing blaze orange with a fanny pack with a stuffed animal dog wearing orange shoes and shorts when it's below zero. You just, you just, you just got to walk away from those people. And uh, that's kind of the point. I'm not looking to uh, win your heart or make your heart uh, flutter with uh, thoughts of romance. I just really think that you need a friend right now. From what I've seen and what I've read and what I've understood from the people that care about you uh, on the dating website where I met you you're a very I don't know a lot of people love you I just I just I just can tell that and I talked to uh, my friend Carl who lives in Iwa Beach and isn't isn't he got the the catbird seat what I wouldn't give to be uh, walking in sunny Hawaii right now filming the scenery you know, some palm trees and beaches would be much better than ice, cold, and snow. But uh, he said that I should stop writing you and give you time to heal because I, I kind of look like a creeper pressing the issue. And I, I think he's right. So instead of writing you, I decided to do something brave today and make a little video uh, journal for you to, to see and to see your old hometown 
and to hopefully put a smile on your face and put a little bit of that love in your heart. Now your user number, and this is just an observation I made, only has five digits and it starts with a two. So my guess is you've been on that dating website since the creation of time. I mean, you're like, you know, if uh, along the, uh, the timeline of things, you probably got onto Catholic Match around the Exodus area. You know, I'm coming in definitely in the later stages of the game, but I think you must have been there from the beginning. And I didn't check and see how many bajillions of posts you had on the forums, but it's obvious to me that you're a driving force for good upon that website. And um, instead of, you know, you know, trying to get your phone number or anything like that, I'm trying to make it known to you that I too want to be a, a driving force for good and uh, help people in their search for love. I think I could be good at that, I really do. Um, my aunt's house is coming up right here. She lives on Van Street, and hopefully I do not get run over by this red truck. I will move to the side. She smiled at me. She's like, who the heck is that crazy man? Well, who is that crazy? I've been, I've been asking that question my whole adult life. All right. Now, don't let me forget the hairball remedy. My uh, mom and grandma just got a new cat named Cece. And apparently she's got some hairball issues. And my aunt has some extra hairball remedy, so after I'm done shoveling her out, uh, I got to uh, get some hairball remedy. And I promise I will make you watch a video of me shoveling snow. That would just probably make you more depressed. But uh, there's plenty of snow to go around here in Wisconsin, and it sounds like you got your fair share in Texas too. I use a Texas accent all the time, man. Worry, gets me a little hot water now and then. All right, here we are on Van Street. This is my aunt's home. Love my aunt, and I'm gonna see what I can do to help her out. 